All the booking and the preparation is done. It's time to go travel. But before you go, you need to pack your bags. The question is, do you know the baggage allowance of the airlines that you're about to fly with? Keep watching this video. Baggage allowance for international and domestic flights, as well as various airlines, may differ. Make sure of the baggage allowance of the flights that you are about to travel with. This may normally be printed on the e-ticket or is also available on their website. For the purpose of this video, I will be discussing the baggage allowance of Qatar Airways, as that is the airlines that we will be flying with. Their baggage allowance is basically two check-in bags of not more than 23 kilograms each. For carry-on bags, they allow one bag of not more than 7 kilograms. They will however allow a lady additionally to carry her handbag. Furthermore, they may allow an additional 20% of weight on a bag if you check in only one bag. Sports equipment like bicycles, surfboards and golf clubs may be checked in as extra baggage. However, it may have an additional fee and require prior booking. Their baggage allowance may also vary depending on the flights, like from different countries, or booking class, like economic or business class. But let's divide this into two groups, check-in bags and carry-on bags. The check-in bags is the bags that you will hand in at the counter and is stored in the cargo bay of the airplane. Make sure that you pack well, as these bags may be handled roughly and is stacked on top of each other. It is advised that you don't pack the following items in your check-in bag. Jewelry, cash, medication, cameras, laptops and other valuable items. The following items are not allowed or permitted to be packed into your check-in bags. Batteries, lighters, flammable goods, dangerous items and of course drugs. Refer to the airline guidelines listed on their website. Check-in bags are scanned by K9 dogs for drugs or explosives and also undergo an x-ray to inspect the contents for unauthorized or dangerous items. Carry-on bags does not only have a weight limit of 7 kilograms, but also a size limit as it has to be stored in an overhead compartment above the seat inside the aircraft. It is advised that you pack an extra set of clothing should your check-in bags get lost. Also pack your personal documents such as passports, cash and bank cards in this bag. Keep your medication with you in your check-in bags. Spare batteries and battery operated items such as cell phones and laptops may be kept in the carry-on bags. Liquids, gels and aerosol may not exceed 100 ml. Check the guidelines of the airlines for any restrictions, but here is just a few tips. Don't wrap items in tin foil as it obstructs the scanning view. This causes a black spot on the scanner and might call for your bags to be opened for a closer inspection. Rather use see-through plastic bags for your packaging. Avoid packing coffee as criminals use the strong odor to trick the canine dogs when trafficking drugs. Overpacking of coffee might call for suspicion and a closer inspection. Remove old travel labels from your luggage not to confuse the scanner and sort your bags for the wrong flight. Use good quality suitcases rather than cheap plastic ones as baggage are handled roughly and stacked. You might end up with a damaged luggage at your destination. Keep medication in a see-through plastic bags for easy inspection. A 
and add your doctor's prescription inside the package. Pack well, fly safe, enjoy your travel and go and see the world. Remember to subscribe to my channel and follow our journey. And until the next year, cheers.